Welcome back, my little Reese's Pieces. <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that at the beginning of my videos because I'm so tired of being like, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Like, it just makes me uncomfortable at this point. So from now on, I'm gonna call you guys little Reese's Pieces. So as you guys have probably guessed, today's video is a little Q&A. So obviously we have a lot of different things to cover today. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. I'm getting so overstimulated. There's like a hundred cats around me right now. I literally can't do it. This is my second time filming this video. Me and Josie um, two days ago sat down and we ate Chick-fil-A in the car and we answered some of these questions and I tried editing it yesterday and I just absolutely hated literally everything about it. Um, I was uninterested myself and I also feel like I just was not even saying like what I wanted to say. So I kind of threw that in the garbage and guess what? Here I am redoing it. So the world may never know what was said in that video. And honestly, I will never know either because I refuse to watch it back. The first question that I'm going to answer, which is asked by Ivan, is what's a boring fact about you? Nothing is boring about me. End of story. See now what's unfortunate about these questions is a lot of people are asking questions about me and Josie because this video was supposed to literally be us together. So now I have to avoid all of those. Um, my biggest fear for the next five years of my life. I feel like I've honestly spent so much time in my life like being fearful about like what's to come in the future. And kind of what I've learned from it is just like sit back and calm down because everything is going to like end up being okay. Like I feel like I've had so many situations where I'm like, I need to figure this out now. Like this thing that's coming in the future like stresses me out so much. Like I don't have any plans for myself. And like when you think like that, you're kind of just destroying your brain. So honestly, with the point that I'm at in my life right now, I don't feel fearful about literally anything. I know my life is going to work out the way that it is supposed to. And I know that I'm a good person and I have good drive and I have good motivation and I have a lot of good characteristics so I know that like in five years I will be in a good place and I will be where I meant to be in that exact moment of my life maybe I'll have a phenomenal job maybe I'll have a family maybe I'll have a husband like who freaking knows but like I'm not gonna sit here right now and stress out about that because that's all old Carly used to do and let me tell you it made me spiral like crazy so my advice to you is calm down, stop freaking out about the future because it is so not in your control. And if you keep focusing on things that aren't in your control, you're gonna just basically give yourself anxiety 24 seven. So in the year 2024, we're not gonna think about the future, we're gonna think about the current time because that is what matters. How are you so lucky having a bestie like Josie? I don't know, we are both so lucky to have each other. It's really a blessing. So I think I'm interpreting this question correctly, but it says, what's your won't go past you opinions? So I feel like what you're asking are like, what are things that I like personally believe like, no, this will not get past me. Like I will not allow this. So I only have one thing that's on my mind and I'm very strict about this is purely loyalty. Whether that is cheating or kind of just like, doing something that's like unloyal to a friend like that will not get past me i really do pride myself in this and i feel like a lot of people probably won't agree with this but i openly have conversations like with my friends like i just had this conversation with josie i think like two days ago and the reason this got brought up is because of this video by the way we weren't just talking about this but she was like hey like if i cheated on jake like what would you do like what exactly would you do and i like told her i was like i would tell him like, I don't care if you're my best friend, like, cheating is cheating, and, like, I just don't like unloyalty, I don't stand for it. So, like, yeah, and that literally goes for anyone. Like, if Josie's boyfriend cheated on her, obviously I'm gonna tell her, so I would do the same in the reverse situation. That's definitely just one thing that won't get past me. Like, I feel like in every situation, I'm always the person that's like, I'm gonna go tell that person because I physically have to, and I feel like that is what is right. Another thing that won't get past me is disrespect. I don't like that. If I hear someone, like, disrespecting someone, I will be the person to literally be like, please shut up, that is wrong to say. Do you ever feel like just picking everything up and disappearing? Absolutely. I have intrusive thoughts all the time that, like, I'm just gonna come home, I'm gonna pack a suitcase, I'm gonna book a plane ticket, like, a one-way plane ticket, and I'm gonna go to, like, a random city, I'm gonna shut my phone down, and no one's gonna be able to find me. I have those intrusive thoughts all the time, but, like, it would just never work out. Like, somebody would find me, it would definitely be my parents, like, if I was using, like, my cards and stuff, like, they'd log into my account, and they'd, like, track me, and they'd find me, so... Even though I have intrusive thoughts of running away and disappearing, I know that someone would find me. So, I can't do that. Let's get to the nitty gritty here. It's probably the reason that 
majority of you guys clicked on this video. I literally have so much to say, but I want to keep this all like as short and sweet as possible. To be quite honest and transparent with you guys, I don't want to do this. I don't want to talk about this. It makes me uncomfortable. I feel like it's unfair. Like it sucks being in this position that like I feel like I owe an explanation to people. But at the same time, this is kind of like a consequence of being on social media, you know? And I know the consequence of not talking about it, which is getting constant questions about it for the rest of my life. So I know if I don't just sit here right now and clear the air about the situation, I'm going to get asked about it for probably the next seven years of my life. I would prefer to just calmly state my piece right now and hopefully no one will ever talk about it again. That's best case scenario even though I know that's not gonna happen. I also want to state that this video is not intended to be clickbait. The reason my breakup is in the title of this video is not because I want to profit off of this. Um, I'm not interested in using my like sad life experiences as clickbait. Um, it's more so so people can easily find this video and if they're wondering about my breakup, they can easily look it up and there it is and now I don't have to answer a million more questions basically, so. I'm hoping that if people are wondering about this whole breakup and everything like that, they can just go ahead and look it up and there it will be. So no, before anyone says anything, this video is not clickbait. If I wanted to clickbait it, I would literally put my breakup emotional sob story and then cry the entire time if I wanted it to be that way. But no, that is not how we are doing things. So basically, yes, me and my boyfriend did break up a month ago. I did break up with him. Um, I do not feel the need to share any reasoning behind that at all that is between strictly me and him. I think that it would be very very unfair for me to get on here and start saying bad things about his character. Um, I don't have anything bad to say but I'm saying that I think that would be so selfish and disrespectful of me to get on here and say bad things. Sadly, I have heard some bad things be said about me, but I think that's completely okay. Everyone processes a breakup differently. Some people get angry, some people get sad, some people get happy, like you don't know. So I'm not going to take anything that I hear personally like to heart because I just know that when you're going through something like this, your mind's kind of all over the place sometimes. Like sometimes you say things you don't mean or you tell the wrong person, like I completely get it. There is a couple more things that I want to say, but I swear my mind keeps going blank. Another thing that I wanted to say, I think this is a very, very important thing, is I do not want anyone to take anything that I'm doing on social media as spiteful. I've been like getting into TikTok recently. I've been posting a little bit more on Instagram and here I am posting again on YouTube. And the last thing that I want people to do is like look at the content that I'm producing and think like, oh, she's doing that to like show off and show him what he lost. Like, absolutely not. That's the most immature thing I've ever heard in my entire life. And the last thing that I want you guys to do is kind of make comments about that. Like if I post like a baddie picture on Instagram, please don't go commenting on that. Like, oh my God, it's his loss. Like, no, I do not want that. And if I see anything like that, or if I honestly see any more comments about the breakup or about my ex-boyfriend or like any of that, I'm just going to simply delete it because like, no. I, I don't want my life to be like that moving forward. So yeah, I really, really ask that of you guys and I just hope no one out there starts to think that like I'm doing things on purpose, like this is my career, like I have to do this. I'm not just starting to post on social media again because I went through a breakup and I wanna show off and like all this stuff. I simply need to do my job and y'all know I haven't been doing my job for a long time, so yeah. Let me post on social media and let's not say anything crazy about it. This is how I make my money, y'all. Don't forget that. And also, another thing that I ask. So, I have had a relationship on social media previously, like, honestly, at this point, like, four years ago. And y'all started DMing him and, like, commenting on his posts and, like, saying a bunch of crazy stuff. If I start seeing that happen, like, I'm telling you, I will literally delete all of my social media platforms. I do not think that anything would drive me crazier than if that started happening. Like, if people start, like, finding ways to, like, attack him or, like, any of that, like, I'm going to lose my mind. I just really, really, really do not want that. And this is, like, one of the things that sucks the most is, like, being an influencer and, like, having your life public is I get, like, the curiosity. Like, there's people that I watch on social media and I'm so curious about, like, their personal lives. But, like, there's a line drawn there. Like, you can wonder and you can think about what's going on and stuff like that, but you do not need to intervene at all. 
that's where the line gets drawn so like i understand that you guys have so many questions and there's so many things that you guys want to know but like also be respectful of my space in his space as well like we are human beings and we did just go through something that's like difficult in life so i just ask that you like respect my peace that's all strawberry lemon corrected i want a lemon another thing that i believe is important to state is that i've been doing very very good actually i've been very very happy recently a lot happier than i've been like in a really long time i feel like i can finally like focus on myself and like some aspects that i have not been able to recently and that has just been very good and very healthy for me i just wanted to tell you guys that i've been doing really good because i don't want you guys to like worry about me or anything like that and if anything this was actually mentioned in the last video that me and josie kind of filmed that got thrown in the trash that if any of you out there are actually going through like a really hard time or like a breakup or anything like that and you feel like you don't have anyone to talk to, me and Josie are actually both people that you guys can talk to. We said that you guys can like DM us, ask us questions, like if you're going through a breakup and you don't know how to navigate it, go ahead and ask me. I just went through it and here I am today. I'm completely okay and I'm very happy. So if any of you guys are interested in that, go ahead. My Instagram is Carly Reese and Josie's is Josie underscore Stark. So yeah, feel free to reach out to me if you need advice or honestly just someone to talk to. <sighs> I have a lot of free time sometimes, so I definitely will answer you guys. And lastly, to kind of wrap up this conversation, a lot of people have been saying, what are you doing with your life moving forward? So that is a great question. And I mean, what I've kind of been doing just like in the past couple of weeks is I've really been just like making plans and doing so many different fun things that I haven't been able to do like in a really long time like I've been catching up with like a lot of old friends like I've been making plans for like the future like I'm going to spend Easter with one of my really close friends and then we're also going to like a concert like over the summer like I've just been making like so many fun plans and like trying to find the excitement in life again and I've just been doing so many like healing and like helpful things for myself like I've been taking vitamins every single day again and i've basically just been seeing a friend like almost every single day like even if that's for like 30 minutes but i've been just talking to so many people again and it just feels so nice because i did feel very very alone for like a long time and now i feel like i've never been alone in my life i'm really excited to get back into social media because i feel like my perspective of just like everything has kind of changed I'm starting to feel like my purpose here on life is I'm meant to go through good things and I'm meant to go through bad things so I can take my own experiences and go help other people and I feel like that's like an amazing purpose to have in life and also the fact that I do have like a platform like this it just makes it even better because I truthfully can help so many people if I really put my mind to it and even in my own circle like I know a lot of different people right now who are like going through breakups and they're honestly people that I don't even really speak to but I've reached out to them and I've been helping them and we've been able to like build a friendship off of that so it's just really been amazing that like I can take my own experience and go help other people like it feels so good and also I've got really interested in like motivated with school and stuff I planned out like basically the rest of my schooling like probably a week ago or something and I'm gonna do like an internship which is gonna be so fun like I'm gonna figure out like what I really want to do and I'm just so excited to like get a job and just like do all of that I've also explained that I'm thinking about like picking up babysitting like soon just so I can have more of like a scheduled schedule so yeah, life is going so good for me right now. I feel like I was a little flower that just blossomed and I have so many new ideas. I have so many new motivations. Like I'm just so excited to wake up every single day and do something new and it has honestly felt freaking amazing. Like I'm so happy. Like I just went live on Instagram the other day. I haven't been live in like five years of my life but y'all seem to really enjoy it so I honestly wanna go live more because it was really fun. And also I'm not gonna do this either. People are asking me in here like, is Carly single? I am not interested in dating anyone literally anytime soon. I'm not interested in hooking up with anyone like that either. I hate hookup culture. I think it's awful. I am not interested in any of that literally at all. Like I'm just so happy to finally have like a moment to like focus on myself and like make life about me. And I just cannot imagine like getting into a relationship honestly anytime soon. Like that's for the future. Oh, and also I wanted to bring this up as well. I do have guy friends, I do hang out around guys, and what I ask of y'all is if I'm hanging out with a guy or anything like that and you see it publicly on social media, please don't make assumptions about it or anything like that because it's not that way.
so yeah what i ask is just like let me live my life let me do my things let me hang out with whoever i want make the decisions that i want post what i want and hopefully y'all support me through all of it the hardest lesson to learn is that things actually do happen for a reason and when i was going through this breakup at first anyone who told me like this is what's meant to happen like this is in your plan like this needs to happen it's what's meant to happen i'd literally be like shut up i hate you like every time someone told me that i was like you do not know what you're talking about like what do you mean things happen for a reason like it genuinely would get me so worked up and so bad when people told me that but like four weeks later here i am preaching it to you guys like genuinely things in life do happen for a reason and sometimes you just have to let them happen and even if you don't want it to happen it's okay because you will soon learn that like yeah that was the right thing so yeah just remember that things actually do happen for a reason and that was a very very hard lesson for me to learn because whenever something bad would happen to me i'd be like why me why does this always happen to me or even when something good happened i'd be like i don't deserve this and like you just really have to recognize that everything in your life that happens literally happens for a reason and maybe it doesn't make sense right now but it will make sense one day all right y'all well i think i'm gonna end the video here i'm kind of upset that like the majority of this video was talking about the breakup because i really wanted that to be a short and sweet little small segment but hopefully i covered enough to the point where people will just like understand and not have any more questions and we can move on from it and we can all go happily live our lives so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next one goodbye my little reese's pieces reese's butter what are those things? Reese's butter cups? Why does that sound so weird? Alright, I'm losing my mind. I need to go.